to the data. So yes, um, so the data, I hope you have been able to open the data set and the instructions. Please, uh, when if you want to use it, download. Ah, they're asking for requests, just a minute. Just give me a minute, let me give access. You can try to refresh it. And you let me know if you can, um, you can access. Let me know if you can access it. Okay. All right. Thanks. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to give context to um, the data set before Ranjit can start. So this is uh, this is going to be a very practical session, how an m &E person actually monitors their activities. So this is a, a data set from an NGO. I'm not going to mention the name. Uh, they work with youths in schools and outside school, but this data set is for uh, schools, is the, for the youth who are in school. So for this youth, they hold um, skill sessions. Skill sessions, these are sessions where they just, um, you know, they, they educate these youth on certain practical skills of so starting a business and so on. Uh, secondly, they hold uh, community days Community days, um, these are, they go to a school on a certain day and they discuss things. And then thirdly, they do mentorship. So this data set has three categories, the skills sessions, uh, group mentorship, and then community days. So uh, they had a target uh, for each school. There are so many schools, we shall see very many schools, over 800. So they had a target for each school that um, they will have six uh, skill sets uh, uh, sessions. They'll have two group mentorships and then one community day event. So what they want to understand is have they been able to achieve uh, for each school, have they been able to achieve um, that target? Or overall in all the schools, have they been able to achieve uh, the target? Have they completed uh, for each school, did they have all the six uh, skills lab sessions or for each school, did they have all the group mentorship? So that is the work of an m and &E person. So before a new term begins, they want to understand how much are we left with to meet our target. So that is a background, I think, very importantly that we need to have before we can dive into the actual. So I hope it's understood. I'm going to hand it over to you, Ranji, to do the actual analysis now. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, so I am going to sharing the Excel sheet. So uh, we have a uh, data set and there is a uh, couple of questions. We will try to answer these questions. At first, we will try to check the data sets. Uh, that's are all here is uh, mainly this is the column a there is school id uh, school type skill lab uh, skill labs attendance group mentoring and is at attendance community day and reporting date so uh, we have to need to check once more here is a uh, row where it's clearly defined that the one school ID has only one skills, only one type of data recorded. Like there, there are three types of data, report type like community day, group mentoring and skills lab. So we have need to identify that here is our, what is our target and how to analyze this data that will help us here is the 
questions which will be more uh, useful for our uh, for us like there is some targets that will help me to uh, prepare the analytics which will be set of achievements and a set of targets and how many uh, how we will interact with the data it will be uh, benefited to us where we are right now the data set is showing that one row is one unique school id and there is three type of data so uh, i am trying to uh, sharing this uh, second set where we can find the regions wise school ids that will help us to identify regional wise uh, in achievements and what was the target that was mentioned in the questions paper or assignment paper second is we have to prepare this data for the analysis that's why we all are try to make a table here is the table may i am trying to remove this that will help for us how to start please copy the school per regions data in a sheet and we have need to identify one school id and all the event which already done so i am writing i am here trying to identify a, a, a different types of column like school id in a column column a column b regions sl that means a skill labs and then group mentoring community day and then school uh, skill labs attendance group mentoring attendance and community attendance so it will be a uh, help for us to identify the data and ultimate result will be reflect from this uh, this table at first i am trying to identify how many skill labs already done in school id 2 that is in north region so i am trying to identify counting how many skill labs are happened in this period so i am trying to use this formula region uh, sorry, uh, using count ifs from raw data that will be criteria range report type second criteria is school id a2 and then i am trying to adding criteria range 2 that is school id uh, sorry I am trying to replace this. At first, criteria range school ID and then criteria will be school ID. Then I am trying to identify report type. I need to report type skills lab. then enter i think all of you done these steps so i am dragging this it will uh, it will help for all rows and cells that is done skills labs data 
is showing that in north region school number uh, id is 2 which is completed six skill labs and so on second i am trying to put this formula for the group mentoring count ifs criteria range will be school id and criteria will be school id second criteria will be report type then criteria will be group mentoring then enter so it is showing that school id 2 which is in north region and there is completed two group mentoring sessions then same formula will be used for count ifs uh, for community day count ifs criteria range will be school id then criteria school id then report type criteria range and criteria 2 is community day and enter then drag and drop so i have prepared my uh, table for how many community day has been completed skills lab have been completed and group meeting has been completed now i have need to check the seat where there is a, there is a couple of questions we have to check by using excel so overall completion and participation rates of skills lab and group mentoring session so we can analyze and show this from this data but if we prepare this table for whole then it will be more useful for the second question and third questions too. So uh, here I uh, I will try to use the index and match formula. Here is index is column D, SL attendance. Then we'll put match formula and one then criteria is lookup array is hi ranjit yes um could you summarize could you summarize the count tips for everyone just summarize how it works sure So we have already seen uh, our Excel data, which is provided in the chat box. And we are trying to answer those questions, which already shared with us. At first questions is by using Excel, so overall completion and participation rates of skills lab and group mentoring sessions. So we have need to prepare from the raw data, a table which will be benefited to analyze those data. That's why I have prepared this table. Here is at first school ID, then regions, 
स्कूल लैब ग्रुप मेंटरिंग कम्युनिटी डे एंड स्किल लैब्स अटेंडेंस ग्रुप मेंटरिंग अटेंडेंस एंड कम्युनिटी डे अटेंडेंस दैट विल हेल्प फॉर नेक्स्ट एनालिसिस एंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चंस दैट विल दैट वी हैव टू आंसर्ड so th that's why i am preparing this uh, table and i am using formula uh, like i have already used count ifs and now i am use, uh, starting to use the index and match formula that will help us to identify like school id 2 which is in north region and six skill labs has been completed i wanted to identify that the skill labs were six completed then what was the attendance so we have need to identify that school id 2 were completed six skill labs at that time what was the attendance what, what was the attendance so i am identifying to identify Identifying to from the uh, raw data, what was the attendance in six uh, skill labs in the school ID two? Hi, Ranjit. Uh... Yes. Ranjit, uh, thank you. What is the difference between count if and count ifs? Yes. Ah. Uh... that will be uh, more beneficial to us when we used uh, to count the data count for single criteria and if you use multiple criteria then uh, it will be uh, then it will be more benefited to use count ifs because you have to uh, you have many or multiple criteria that's why we have we are using count ifs Uh, sorry what do you mean by criteria i mean which criteria you are talking about on um, I mean, here is yes no yes uh, here is a report type there is a uh, there, there are three types of data uh, skills lab community uh, day and mentoring group uh, group mentoring so i need to i i need to count the number of community days or skill labs have been completed against the school id that's why here is many many uh, data points and i am putting the skills lab criteria that will be uh, show case the data which completed the skill labs only yes rajit yes can i can i come in and help differentiate count if and count uh, count sure, if sure. and count ifs so sure. yeah yeah all right um count if um it, it's a, it, it counts the number of cells uh based on a specific criteria um the, the, the criteria is just one so basically uh, the syntax goes like um you write as he has put it count if and then you open the bracket you uh tell us the range of uh, uh cells where you want to search for that uh word and then you put the word that you want to actually search or the cell or or or, or the, the syntax that you want to search while the count if is now you have multiple criteria that is to say you want to search uh maybe uh let's say Uh, uh uh how many times um uh, a, a, a specific name is appearing in a, a in a, in, a, in a in a list and then you also want to see uh maybe uh how many times eh? uh how, how best can i put it uh maybe uh, how many times is uh, maybe a certain name as well appearing uh, or maybe the very same name but maybe with a, specific, a different criteria so it, 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 it it's the same count if but you just have multiple uh as he has put it multiple criteria i i hope you understood me for, for for example um okay let, let me just go through the data set and then i'll come back to you 
Uh, I think to to easily explain uh, the Excel formulas, it's best if uh, Rajid could uh, click on where he has placed the formulas. It's easier for someone to see that this is criteria one as you explain it. Because when, like, okay, the first, let's go to row two, uh, where you, uh -huh. now if you see where he has put count ifs. Now, where he put, uh, where the first uh, row data set in column A, that is the range where he's looking for. And what is he looking for? The unique detail. So that is the first criteria. Then the unique detail, in, uh, it is uh, the what? The ID number. That's why you see it's A, A2. So in the first criteria he was looking for, he was looking for the, in the range, it was the school IDs that is in the row data set. And then the unique detail was the school ID two. So that is the first criteria. Yes. Then the second criteria comes in, whereby he went to the raw data set, column B, and he was looking for a unique, a, a unique what? A unique detail, which was community day, but still of what? Of school ID two. That's why he, the account found out that school, the school with school ID two attended, attended six, uh, no, this is a community day. So attended one community day. So he's using the count if function, the count ifs, because he has multiple criteria he's looking for. He's looking for school ID. That is one criteria. And the second criteria is one of the, uh, the skill sets that is community day or skill labor or group mentoring. I think when you click on the formula like this, it's easy easier to break it down and someone can know, okay, a criteria means this. Thank you. Great, great. Uh, thank you. I hope uh, all of you understood about this uh, answer. What uh, difference between count if and count ifs. So I am right now I am trying to uh, identify uh, the numbers uh, against uh, number of skills left, which is six against school ID. Uh, so I am using index, uh, which data I want to, uh, I want to refer this index at first we will enter the index and the array will be, uh, because of that, I am trying to, uh, identify the number of uh, attendance. That's why I'm selecting the uh, skills lab attendance. And then I am putting the match formula and one, then I am putting the, the, there is also using multiple criteria. That is uh, criteria one is school ID and second criteria is skills lab six. Because of that, uh, our target is uh, skills lab six uh, that will uh, present and that will be reporting us as per the questions. So I am putting the match uh, formula and the array uh, lookup array is school ID and uh, I, I wanted to collect the data as per school ID like two. Uh, here is school ID two. So here is a range, there is school ID from two to seven, uh, eight to nine, uh, many more. And I identified to uh, skills lab, uh, uh, identified to school ID two and where completed skills lab six. So uh, I'm going to close this bracket and using a straight, no, sorry. Uh, before this, I have to put a uh, brackets and then uh, asterisk and we'll start bracket soon bracket and I have need to identify skills lab six. So I am selecting the range skills lab number equal to what skills lab number I need only SL six.
we need to put this double in inverted comma and then close this and comma. I need to exact match and enter. So here is the number. Uh, the where completed in the school lab two were completed six uh, skill skills lab and at that time the attendance was forty. So I trying to drag and drop all this. This will take some extra time. So, hi Ranjit. If if here is here is yes. Yes. Um. Just a, a pause there. I see. I think there are people who joined late and they don't understand the data set at all, so they are not following. Um. I already did give a brief background to the data set. Let me do that again so that everyone is uh, at par with what's going on. So I already mentioned that um, this data set is for some organization that works with uh, youth, both in secondary school, but also out of school. But this data set is specifically for that, those uh, students in secondary school. So in each school, like you see a number of schools there, we shall see a total of about 800 schools actually. That, that is the first column of our school ID. So those are the, the schools that uh, this organization works with, with the students in those schools. And they're in, these schools are in different regions, as you see there. So in each school, they had an expectation to conduct six, uh, six lab uh, sessions, two group mentorship uh, classes, and then a community day. That is their target, to have those three items in each school. So in term one, they conducted these sessions but they want to understand, did they meet their target? In each school, did they have six um, skills lab? Did they have two group mentorship? Did they have community day, one community day? So if they did not have the target, then they would continue in term two. So the m and &E officer was tasked to pull out the data set to show what is the completion rate. In other words, what is left for us to do in term two. So this data set is being used by the m &E officer to come up with a completion rate to guide uh, the program team and also to come up with uh, the attendance or the participation rate. So that is what Ranjit is doing. So Rand, what he did first is that uh, for each school, he made sure, for example, that column C of skills lab, he made he wanted to understand for each school how many skills lab sessions were conducted. And as you can see from that session, you will see that some schools had the six, which was the target. Some schools had four, some schools had five. I guess there's also three, uh, four, whatever. So you can clearly see that uh, they did not meet the target for some of the schools. He did the same for group mentorship, still using counties, to see for each school how many group mentorship sessions happened. So you can see that for some of the schools, they had all that two, that was the target. Some of them did not have at all, some of them had one. So as an m and &E officer, you're tasked to see, first of all, which schools did not meet, and then overall, what is the completion rate? The same with community day. You can see that some schools had the one, they had a target of one community day for each school. So some school had that and some schools did not. So he used count ifs. And um, again, uh, people have already explained the difference between count ifs and count ifs. So he used count ifs because one, the first criteria is he was choosing the schools. Um, from the first range, which is A, he wanted to choose school ID two. Secondly, because he wanted to understand the skills lab, he had to use another criteria of that C, that column, uh, I guess in the raw data set, but the column that had um, the skills, that, that column. Uh, so he, he chose that range and selected skills lab as the, uh, the criteria that he wanted. So that is how he came about with the six. 
the same with group mentorship and the same with community day. So what he's doing right now is to get that average attendance. So for each school, for example, school two, uh, they had six, uh, six lab sessions. What was the average attendance for the six um, lab sessions? If it's group mentorship, he's going to get the same and then community day. So that is going to help us come up with the completion rate and the participation rate, which is our target. I hope it's clear now. Please go ahead. Thank you, uh, Douglas. Uh, so we are calculated the school ID two where skill lab six has been done, and there was attendance forty. And same formula will be used for uh, group mentoring, and we will be used for group mentoring uh sessions where the target was two so index and the array will be group mentoring session ka, that group mentoring attendance gm attendance selected and then use match formula one and then use school id as it look up array criteria will be equal to school id like row number 2 a a2 and close the bracket here need to be start brackets and then asterisk and start once again the bracket select group mentoring sessions that will identify the group uh, GM2 equal to GM2 double invited comma and bracket close comma exact match. Just a second. So here is the attendance and we will drop and down. Same formula will, will be used for community day two. So uh, I think all of you are in this page and already done uh, GM attendance, group mentoring attendance. Hi Renji. So, we are going to second, uh, third option, community day attendance. Yes. Yes, I think after doing the community day attendance, please go over the index because they are asking, uh, why are we using index? Sure, sure. So, uh, when we will use this uh, formula, uh, the laptop will be slow for some times it's calculating uh, need some times if 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 we uh, close before 100% then the calculation will, will be wrong that that will identify that here is group mentoring zero that's why here here will be not shown any attendance or any participants but uh, we can check we have not calculated for the skills lab five here is showing 44 that is calculated calculated wrong we have need to uh, take some rest and the calculation will be 100%, then it will be uh, accurate. So I am going to third option, uh, community day, same formula will be used for this index match. Index is 
community day attendance maths one bracket start lookup array will be school id equal to unique school id cell number a2 back it close then asterisk then criteria range all lookup array here, here, here will be used for community day because or uh, uh, here is no uh, here is no numbers for the community day because our target is one and it was done or not. Uh, hopefully it will be zero or one. Equal to community day. And then exact match. Now, when I am using for only some sales, the details will be accurate. Uh, here is community day, which is not happened here, and that is showing. Uh, NA, that means here is no data available. That means no participants were participated at that uh, at, at this uh, community day, or it's not happened right now. Uh, we can use for this. Uh, we can use uh, for this error if we use uh, if error formula, then it could be uh, blank or if you want to put any uh, any input, then you can uh, give here or uh, enter here. Uh, I wanted to uh, put here blank where the participations, uh, uh, where the community day was not happened. So I am going to use the blank and enter. When I am dragging this, it will be so that where community day is zero, that community attendance also blank or zero. So we have completed this table uh, for the next uh, uh, analysis that will be help uh, for the graph and next uh, uh, questions. So uh, we have need to prepare or more things like uh, we have uh, limited time. That's why I am already prepared few things like a region wise target already mentioned here. I am putting in this box for the accurate calculation. Already you have seen this. So I am going to this table that will already have many I have prepared. Next uh, report type. Here is report type skills lab community uh, day and group mentoring that is already uh, here is uh, three here are three types of uh, re report type like community day group mentoring and skills lab already mentioned and I have prepared according this for my reference and also we have seen that here is a incons inconsistency in the data set uh, that was. Uh, skills lab uh, 13 which was uh, wrongly entered so our target is skill lab 6 i have prepared according to this drop down list or i have prepared this table for uh, my reference if i wanted to any other uh, analysis or uh, or something like which will be uh, skill labs wise average uh, attendance etc and next is uh, group mentoring sessions which was uh, our target was uh, gm2 group mentoring session 2 and this also 
mentioned and made a table for helping the analysis. So I have prepared some tables for next analysis. Hi, hi, Ranjit. I have. Hi, yes. Ranjit. Um, could we go back to um to the unique that unique that unique details? Um, yes. so could you again explain that formula, the yes. if error, like bit by bit, because I think I also don't understand properly, just bit by bit. Yes. So, uh, here is, uh, I'm using the index, uh, formula, uh, because of that, I have two criteria. Uh, if one criteria, then we can use also, uh, uh index formula. But here is uh, two criteria. One is pool ID and second is skill lab six. Hmm. That's why I am using a uh, match formula, which will be, which will be uh, identify between the criteria and the data will be show this uh, cell. That's why I am using asterisk. One criteria is, th this is the one criteria. That means criteria range was school ID or school range. And then I have put the school ID like A2, school ID number two. And second criteria is skill labs, which will be identify the number of participants on skill lab six. That's why I am using asterisk and second criteria. That is criteria range uh raw data cc that means skills lab uh, sl number and the criteria is lookup array or uh, criteria range is cc and criteria is skill lab 6 which was uh, value in the value in the skills labs number uh, here is the uh, values sl1 sl2 sl3 and so on sl6 and then I used the match formula. Here is a match formula where zero, one, uh, and uh, we tried to exact match for this data set. That's why I am using this zero. Clear. And enter the data that, yes, that will help us to identify only the six skill labs were already completed and the participation what was the participation here is the result sorry ranjit uh <clears throat> could you please tell us why we are not using here the count tips and why you are we are using index formula here i mean what's the difference and what's the reason behind this why you why you have uh, chosen the index formula over counter ifs Uh, here is, here is the data, which I need to, uh, I need to, the, uh, I need to, uh, show the number of participants. Uh, if, uh, if we use the count tips formula, then it will be so, uh, we can, we can, we can check once, uh, that will, that will not the exact number of participants in this, uh, position. So. In, in Excel, uh, advanced Excel, uh, when we are using any formulas, we have need to decide what type of formula will be helpful for this data set. So uh, it, once uh, we, we can check this uh, count tips, criteria range will be same school ID and criteria will be school ID two. Second criteria is skills lab, uh, skills lab six comma SL six. And then enter. It will show the number is one. That means I am going to count the num count. I'm going to counting SL six. Oh, sorry. Uh, once, once more, uh, here is also, I can use the second, uh, third criteria, but 
count ifs need a criteria which only which will be count only the number of entries but not so the using add this person uh, the count ifs formula i think uh, it's clear if not then uh, i can uh, give more example or other example yes uh, i think it's clear but maybe just in case uh, they have not yet understood so count ifs when you use count ifs you're basically just counting the cells Remember when we were getting um, uh, the number of skills labs, we used count ifs because we want to understand how many cells with ID2 actually had six, uh, completed the six uh, skills labs. So it's counting the cells, just basically that. Whereas uh, the index, um, Ranjit, you're also correct. I think in this case, we can use average. Alternatively, we can get average, but we can also use index. You want to get uh, the attendance. So for all the six labs uh, sessions, what was the attendance or what was the average attendance? So you there you cannot count the cells like you were doing with the uh, count ifs, but that formula should help you to come up with the average attendance. And in this case, Ranjit is interested for all uh, schools that had all the six labs sessions. So that's the difference between uh, the counties and the index that Ranjit is doing, is using. Yes. Uh, so thank you. At the, this moment, we can also use uh, the VLOOKUP formula, but we have to rework on this table. Uh, before this, we have to prepare on this uh, school ID and uh, skills lab unique IDs. And then we can identify the SL6 uh, for that uh, school ID. And then it will be show the actual attendance of the this uh, against the skill lab 6. Uh, we can use for this formula uh, VLOOKUP also. But at this time, we have... Uh, another formula index and match that's why i am i have used this formula so i am going to uh, next uh, sheet that is uh, drop down already uh, i have discussed uh, which was in the raw data sheet uh, i have put it here and uh, organized this data uh, table for uh, next analysis here is the analysis table which was our target uh, overall target is uh, here and also, I have uh, prepared this uh, region-wise target. Now, uh, we have need to uh, we have need to prepare a uh, uh, drop-down list that will help us in one place. Uh, uh, region we can see the region-wise result in a place uh, like uh, interactive dash dashboard. So I am going to uh, prepare this uh, drop down list. Uh, at first, we have go to we need to go to data okay. validation and here list, then drop down region all to north. Here is one uh, things I need to uh, address at that time. I have prepared this data set unique details. Uh, region wise and same data that was uh, 824 uh, 824 line yes uh, we can use this by formula but I have created this which was 824 actual data it was regional wise and I have put all the region uh, all for the all region a uh, extra extra uh, drop down list extra list that was uh, that that is all uh, that will help us to identify the overall data that why uh, i am copying all the data into the uh, in in append here uh, that is region all region uh, will be so in the interactive dashboard for uh, I 
we can check here and uh, when we will be use the formula that will be more clear all here is the uh, data set and i am going to uh, going to identify skills lab 6 were completed identify how many so here is same formula count ifs criteria range we will use this table criteria range school id uh, sorry i have no need i have need region comma criteria one this and then i i need completion of the school region wise so unique data and skill slab 6 done so that here is the overall status of the uh, data set where we have completed six uh, skill labs that is 683 if i change this uh, this list then it will be so i have select i am going to select south then it will be so the south completed 150 skill uh, school so uh, six skill lab has been completed in 150 schools and the next uh, participation or scholar same we are uh, yes uh, we are going to use some ifs here is some range attendance comma criteria will be oh, sorry first criteria will be region comma criteria will be this and close enter here is showing this data uh, because of that we have uh, here is some uh, error we have need to uh, we have need to check uh, otherwise that will be so uh, wrong or uh, error that's why i am going to uh, remove the formula i am copying and paste this or i uh, i can use the uh, if error formula that will be like this uh, when it will be error then it will be blank it could be uh, same process i am going to uh, that that th this is manual process i can select this and uh, sorry uh, i can remove this and here is the number this is i th i think i think uh, your number and uh, my number is uh, something different. Uh, if there is different, uh, no worries because there is uh, we, we we have not uh, we have not keeps uh, enough time to the machine uh, for the calculation. Uh, here is the need some times for the specific calculation completed. Uh, you can see in there calculating eight thread seven percent. I, we need to uh, complete this 100% because we have not uh, enough time to uh, complete this. So I am going to uh, next uh, that th this is our uh, this is our uh, completion, total number of completion on this uh, on this region. So I am going to uh, excuse me. Andrew. Yes. I I wanted to find out, would it be fair really for us not to remove the null like the blank spaces? We clean that data instead of us dealing with it up to this extent because I feel like uh, we shall come up with a result that is not really good if we keep on going with that. 
I do not know whether I'm correct or wrong. Because I was proposing for us to clean, uh, we remove those ones with null already from the data set, such that we can be in position to come with efficient results. I do not know how you look at that. Um, can I can I answer that? Uh, okay. Yes. So um, sure. these uh, spaces that you're seeing did not exist in the original data set, right? It is only here because what we are interested in are those schools that completed the six skills labs sessions. So the formula that he used only took into account schools that completed the six lab sessions. So if a school had five, four, three, two, or one, it is um, the results or the attendance does not, uh, the, the output does not cater for the attendance. So it gave it an A. That is for schools that had sessions below six. So that is why, he, so what he did was just to remove the NAs, which was, uh, we were not interested in, and he was left with, um, that the figures for for skills labs that uh, that had for schools that had six skills labs. So it wasn't uh, um, can I say something that we needed to clean up. It is only that the formula that we used, uh, or we were not interested in uh, the rest of the you know the below six skills labs. So it wasn't like okay. an error or something. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. So uh, now uh, we have, uh, I am going to uh, check the percentage. So here is the percentage. Uh, it's completed. And uh, now the total number of target schools okay this is our target schools so the, this is showing 18% that is overall, but we if, if we want to uh, specific region wise uh, percentage of data uh, completion, then we have need to target. Uh, we have need to uh, create a box here, which will be show the target region wise. Uh, that will be uh, create uh, with this. I think yeah, I we can here on this a yeah, that is target part uh, scholars and we have create here a column target schools so overall school is if we count Unique schools already we have created count ifs. Here is the school list. Uh, sorry, here is already hum, uh, we have created a uh, double entry. That 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 was uh, all. So we can take from this region and. We can use number of schools, uh, regions. That is okay, okay, okay. Sorry.
sorry i wanted to put this one second count ifs okay comma criteria is all in enters 842 that is our criteria and here is the list of uh, region and region wise target of the scoops that is uh, our target and uh, completed here now we can check accordingly and uh, create more ones completed with south and all at first we need to complete all overall completion rate that is divided by total number of schools and percentage here is the percentage of uh, total completion overall rate and now i am going to use for this formula uh, for these scholars and it also showing that 87 percent completion of the skill lab six in school now we can we can create a graph for this So here is the, uh, we can create uh, for all three uh, types of data in one place, one graph will be completion rate and second will be participation rate. That will be, uh, uh, you, you can do it or uh, it, it, it will be uh, different like uh, here is completion rate of, uh, a completion rate and uh, school, uh, scholars uh, participation rate. Uh, for skills lab, skills lab six, you can create both. First and second we will use same formula and same uh, criteria like this i am going and they can, if, yes can you can you put them on one graph yes i will, i i will uh, show uh, this also uh, i am going to skip uh, some tables where we are going to using same formulas uh, here is three tables and we are going to use same formulas. That's why I am uh, going to skip uh, report type, group monitor, uh, mentoring, and community day. That will be same. And overall uh, summary and report will be shown here. I am going to uh, showing uh, in in a few minutes. Next table. This is this is the table which have com uh, completed by this formula. And same formula will be used for this table and this table. And same graph you can uh, put, put it here. One uh, more things, uh, we can check the average attendance per uh, skill labs or group mentoring or uh, community day. Uh, simple here, uh, we can put the average, uh, average IPS formula. Average range, I, I have to select average range of skills lab. Then need to put the criteria according to, sorry, this will, uh, uh, we have need to choose the raw data here. Because of that, we have created this table unique details where yes uh 
where we uh, tried to complete this table with uh, this unique table, uh, unique details data. But now I have need to, because of that, we have not collected the, uh, the table unique details where we have not collected the uh, SL1234 wise uh, data, data. So we need to check the data from raw data. Average ifs, raw data, average range, select the criteria range, and then criteria. Uh, we can put here already mentioned. So select the SL1 and done 42 and then we if i drag this then sl6 will be complete for uh, with this formula but we have need to change for gm1 and 2 because of that the data is in another column so same formula we will put average ifs raw data, GM attendance, average range, then criteria range, GM mentoring session, and then the criteria is GM1 and done. It will complete for, complete for GM1 and 2. Because of that, CD1 data is in another column. So same formula will be used for this raw data, community attendance, and here is not any single column for this community day. We can choose from here. community day close enter so here is the average attendance uh, per sessions we can put any uh, graph that will be show here and here is the average attendance this is complete So uh, I am going to next overall completion rate. So uh, e e someone is uh, asking me to uh, uh, shall I put all the completion rate in a graph that will be help for this. Uh, th that will be help for uh, if you create and calculate this table, then it will be benefited for, uh, for you. And uh, this will show a, in a graph, which is completion rate. And second is participation of the scholars. So I am going to completion rate skills lab. I have need to copy this data from this cell. So here is the data for skill lab completion and second is group mentoring we will copy from this table and now we will co copy this data from this set so we have created this table which will be uh, which will show a uh, in a in a graph the completion rate and you can use this graph if we if we put the data here so i am trying to put the data count if
unique details. Region. Criteria. This. Uh, GM2. GM2 was our target. So we have need to put another uh, criteria. Here is the another criteria. Range group mentoring sessions. And criteria is here two. We, here is the data. 745. And the scholar will be uh, we have need to use same formula like here some ifs some ifs of the group mentoring data here will be same uh, error because of that here is some error already shown here so we have need to remove the uh, error uh, with the formula if error or the manually uh, filtered the error uh, cells and remove the error. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we are going to remove the data errors. And now I think there is something error. Let me check. Some ifs. Some range. Criteria range. And then criteria. What is this? This is participation GM2. So, okay. checking. Here is something errors, I think. Sorry, I think my laptop is hanging. Just a second. Sorry, guys. Just, just a second. Just to see. So here is the numbers. Uh, you can see my laptop is going slow. Sorry. And uh, now we are going to 
percentage here total target is here and now this completion rate is 90 percent and scholar participation is 86 percent now here we can see the graph here we can use uh, all the completion rate of the skills lab group mentoring and community day in a graph and same as we can use for the participation rate here so we have completed uh, completion rate and participation of the scholar. Now we can check the participation rate and scholar details according to the according to the uh, region. And same formula will be used for the completion and SL6, which already I have uh, I have shared count ifs and some ifs formula will be used here. And now, group mentoring session and the community session, I have prepared the data here. We can put, when we can, we will, be, we will put here, the data will be so and graph will be so. So I am going to here, the, the uh, going to use the formula here, uh, count ifs once again. Criteria range is criteria is all comma no. Group mentoring system. Group mentoring system. GM two comma two. So unit details. Some may you. Criteria range one, criteria A five, criteria range is so here is something error. Count ifs criteria range region. Comma, criteria is all, comma, session, comma, two. So, here is the number uh, for this overall, and then here is the all of the uh, region wise competition rate. Same formula need to be used for this participation and competition of CD1. So I am not going to uh, discuss same formula uh, in this. Uh, I think all of you already uh, uh, I, I, all of you understood about the formulas and how to use the uh, use this. Uh, now I am going to share the final version, which already we have prepared. Here is the uh, all details, and this will be shared uh, with you for practicing more. And here is the interactive interactive uh, interactive dashboards that will help us to see in the all data like if you want to see region wise then select region if you want to overall data then here you can 
uh, select the all, then it will be so overall number. And here is the all data for community day, skills lab, group mentoring, and last, I have created this for all the skills lab. That means skills lab, uh, status of skills lab, where uh, how many schools have completed skills lab sessions one, sessions two, so on, session six, that will help this. And we have used same formula count ifs with this criteria and criteria one is region and criteria two is SL one, two, three, four, so on. And same formula and same table use in this group mentoring session. And now this is the final result. And here is the all analysis. I think we have need more time, but now uh, already we have over the time. So if you have any queries, then uh, we can answer or anything uh, I need. If you have any questions, uh, 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 Darkas, if, if anyone have any questions in chat box or hand raise, hand raise mm. then we can discuss accordingly. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Ranjit. Actually, all the questions in the chat box uh, were answered, but I'm curious to hear if uh, there are any more questions. And again, uh, for people who haven't interacted so well with uh, advanced Excel, you may not get it right away. So that's why uh, it would be helpful to have this, uh, the already worked uh, example here, so you can follow through. Um, this is going to be shared. Um, before I forget again, I'm going to share a link for the feedback, a feedback form. Please, 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 um, let me share it right away. Complete this right now, if you can, so that we know how to proceed to move forward with the next uh, trainings, especially on uh, data analysis. So I've shared the feedback form there. Please have time, complete it. Um, then we shall be good to go. Are there any questions? Yeah, Docus, are we getting this recording? Yes, yes, but this is the thing. So we wanted to raise some money to sustain because as you can realize, um, the meeting today just goes up to 100 participants, but we want more than that. So we wanted to introduce, uh, like I had mentioned in the last session, we wanted to introduce a cost. I'm still thinking through how that, that, that really works for those in Uganda. We can, they can just send through the money, but those outside, I'm really thinking about that. Um, I think um, before the end of the week, I will have thought about that and see, but um, we wanted to introduce a cost uh, for these uh, recordings and also the Excel, just to help us uh, in meeting the costs uh, that, you know, we're already putting in, we're already putting in some cost and uh, yeah. So we are going to introduce a cost, but I'm still, we are still thinking through that. Yeah, but for those in Uganda, Uganda, you can already reach out to me and uh, I'll share with you the recording. But those outside, uh, I think before the end of next week, uh, we'll have found a way. Yeah. Um, any questions, especially related? And also, I believe by the end of today's session, I know we can now use count ifs. At least personally, I can, because we have used it a lot during the analysis. We can use some ifs. The new one to me is the index, which I still believe uh, we can use average ifs. So you can go and practice and find out how you can use uh, index and uh, average ifs in interchangeably. So those are the two key points um, that I have picked from this um, from, from this session. How we can use count if, count if, count ifs, and then some ifs as well. 
Um, also, Ranjit has put in his LinkedIn um, account there. So kindly uh, reach out to him uh, for clarity. I think it has really been a great session. Kindly complete that feedback form for us so we know how to proceed. Do we have any more questions? Thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, we'll connect you uh, again. And uh, this, this is a uh, good platform to uh, us, for us uh, to learning here and we are growing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ranjit, for your time and for volunteering to share your knowledge on Advanced Excel. <laughs> um, if there are no more questions, then I think this should bring us to the end of the session. We'll have, uh, well, the next session is going to be about data analysis, which we have already practically started on. But theoretically, we are going to cover uh, what data analysis is and uh, when we can apply what kind of data analysis and so on. So that will be next Saturday. Again, uh, I think we are going to use the same Zoom link. So see you next Saturday if there are no questions. Bye, everyone. Okay, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you, Progress. All right. Have a good day, everybody.